Dearly beloved, loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord wants to give a special message to you today. Do you know what the message is? It's like, my life has become like this, like that, I expected all this. It started well, but in the end it became like this. I have made a mistake, it has happened like this. Are you sad thinking like this? One day the Lord looks at the prophet and says, Go to the potter's house. He said yes Lord and went. The potter is making a pot. They use mud to make vessel. They will make wares with clay. They are called earthenware. For that they will take the mud needed, add the right amount of water, knead it well and once the consistency is right, they will place it on the wheel and make it turn. The hands of the potter will mold it into a vessel. He keeps watching it. It was just a clay. Now it is turning into a beautifully shaped vessel. As he sees, he is happy. This mud is becoming a beautiful vessel. And finally, when he picks it up beautifully with both his hands, it will come as a whole vessel. When he picks it up, it gets spoiled and the clay fell down. He saw that when he was creating it well, suddenly it was spoiled. That is all. He kept thinking, what to do now? Throw the mud away? Will he throw it? No. The potter again needs the same mud, places the same mud on the wheel. He molds it beautifully into a different vessel and takes it out as a vessel. The Lord made the prophet see this and say a message. In the same way, the Lord says in Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 6, let me read it for you. As the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. The Lord says, my son, my daughter, the clay is in the potter's hand. In the same way, you are in my hand. I know into which type of vessel I should mold you. The clay will not say make me into a pot or make me into a pan, make me into a small and beautiful glass. The mud will not say so. But on the other hand, whatever the potter thinks in his mind, whatever he decides with this mud, let me make this vessel, he will do only that and nothing else. Now the Lord is the potter. We are the clay in his hands. Can we say that is what I too thought, I prayed that I should be a doctor in the year I was saved. I accepted Jesus with great desire. I prayed, Lord bless me to become a doctor. Like this, I wanted to be a doctor. But the vessel was spoiled. There was defeat and disappointment. I didn't get in, damaged. Then the Lord said, I will not come behind you. You should only come behind me. Aren't you judged the clay? I can't do as per your wish. I have something in mind regarding how I should make you. And then I committed myself only after I committed myself. Okay, Lord, mold me according to your will. He called me to ministry and today I would have sat in a hospital if I were a doctor. That's all. But today the Lord God is using me as a blessing to millions of people. Forsaken by doctors, diseases that cannot be healed. When we make a small prayer due to his compassion, the Lord heals. When I think about all that, how beautifully the Lord has designed me into a vessel that suits Him. God has a great plan for you too. You are thinking I should become an engineer, a doctor, a scientist. I should become this, I should become that, I am going to do this. This is what the Lord should give. But the Lord says you are just the clay. Surrender yourself into my hands. I know into which vessel I should mold you. Should I mold you into the vessel of a doctor? Should I mold you into the vessel of an engineer? Should I make you into a vessel of a missionary? Should I make you a teacher or should I make you into a big businessman? I know that I will mold you. The things you did have been spoiled. They weren't successful. Failure, disappointment. Are you worried? But you are still in my hand. I haven't thrown you away. I am still having that mud in my hands. I can mold you into a new vessel. 
Will you comment yourself? What should you do? Comment yourself. Just try saying, Lord, you are the potter. I am the clay. I commit myself into your hands. Whatever type of vessel you desire to mold me into, mold me in that way. I know that you will mold me into a useful vessel. I commit myself, Lord. And you will see that from today, there will be a new beginning in your life. You will see the Lord lead you on a new and beautiful path. Shall we commit? If yes, say, Lord, I commit myself as a clay in the potter's hands in a way you like, in accordance with your heart's desire. Mold me into a vessel and use me to do good and to be a blessing to many. I fully surrender myself into your hands. Use me, Lord. In the name of Lord and Saviour Jesus, I pray this prayer, dear Father. Amen. Amen.